Hello guys, my name is Antoine from ATM Tech and welcome to the channel. If you clicked on this video, you probably already know a little bit about the Galaxy Z Fold 2. After using the phone for a few months, today I'm going to give you my top 5 reasons why I think you shouldn't buy the Z Fold 2. I've also uploaded a video on 5 reasons why I think you should buy the Z Fold 2, so feel free to check that one out after you've watched this one. But before we do that, let's run the intro. So not wasting any time, I'm going to give you my first reason why I think you shouldn't buy the Z Fold 2. And that is the Z Fold 2 is a big boy. I'm talking thick with three C's. The problem that you get with a phone that's folded in half is that you end up with something that's twice as thick. In the hand, it literally feels as though you are holding two phones. You'll definitely feel it in your pocket. And if you're a guy, you may have one or two times where your significant other asks if you're just happy to see them. Me personally, I have nothing against a bit of thickness, but not my phone. Reason number two. Let's talk durability. So with the nature of this phone, the materials that it's made of, and the fact that it folds in half, durability is always going to be a bit of a question. Anything with moving parts is bound to be a bit more fragile. So the folding screen itself is made of a glass and plastic hybrid. That material allows the phone to bend and retain its shape. However, it is softer than regular glass. So although it won't crack, it's more susceptible to scratches and indentations. If you're the type of person who likes to use their nails when using a touchscreen, you may want to reconsider as you will leave marks on the display. This phone also lacks any type of IP rating, so you have to be sure to keep it away from any type of liquid or dust. I was also terrified to leave this phone unfolded when I wasn't using it. We've all been there before where we may have accidentally sat on a phone on a sofa and for 99% of phones it's not a big deal. However, if you were to sit on the fold, unfolded, face down, you're probably going to destroy the hinge. So the third reason why I think you shouldn't buy the Z Fold 2. For me, battery life became a bit of a miss. Now as a whole, the battery life on this phone is adequate and you can get through a day quite comfortably. However, there was a big difference in battery drain from using the smaller outer screen compared to using the larger inner screen which obviously is to be expected to some degree. However, the difference was night and day. Let's say if I had a day where I was using the outer screen 80% of the time, I could easily get through halfway to the next day. Whereas if I spent 80% of my time using the larger screen, you're talking by mid afternoon, I'm reaching for a charger. So it kind of felt as though I was being heavily penalized for making the most of the phone. Reason number four, let's look at the narrow outer screen. It looks great, it's definitely usable, and when you compare it to the first generation of the Fold, it's a huge step up. On the first Fold, the outer screen wasn't even worth using. In this new version, the outer screen is definitely a lot better. However, for those with larger hands, you may struggle a little bit. With a regular smartphone, I'm easily able to walk and text and not really have to look at the phone. But using the outer screen on the Z Fold 2, I really have to look and concentrate on what I'm doing. Autocorrect does save you most of the time, but not all the time and you need to be keeping an eye just to make sure you don't end up sending something stupid. And then the final reason, I'm sure you probably all saw this one coming, or maybe not, is the price. Um, there's a reason why 90% of the population will not be buying this phone. Uh, depending on where you are, it's approximately £1,900, $1,900. That's a big chunk of change to swallow, even in today's climate where the price of phones are going up. But the price of the Z Fold 2 is next level. While I do think for, it's a fair price for the technology that it has in 2020, it's definitely not a value proposition. I think right now you can get away with that price because there isn't really any serious competition. But going back to durability, it's a lot of money to spend on a phone that may not last you the two to three years that majority of people have a phone. It wouldn't surprise me if majority of owners significantly damage their fold within the first six to nine months. So while I do think the Z Fold 2 is a great phone, most people should not buy it. So I hope you enjoyed my five reasons not to buy the Z Fold 2. And as I said before, I've also uploaded a video on five reasons why you should buy the Z Fold 2. So feel free to check that one out as well. And the like is always appreciated. And if you want more of this type of content, feel free to subscribe. But that's enough from me. I'm Antoine and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.